Hi, this is Dana Huey with your CBS 19.TV web exclusive for Friday, April 12th. With the return of baseball, there's a lot more talk about hits, swings, and misses in our Twitter feeds. How did major league teams get into the conversation? He's got one of the most clever handles in baseball, at National Debt. But at first, Washington Nationals pitcher Russ Detweiler was hesitant to join Twitter. I just wouldn't buy into it at all, and then finally uh, I broke down a little bit, and now I'm hooked. It's modern territory for the classic American sport. Each crack of the bat now matched with many tweets. Teams like the Nationals are eager to chime in. They've got a hashtag on an outfield fence. A list of players' Twitter handles is distributed with scorecards. With one of the youngest rosters in baseball, Nationals Chief Operating Officer Andy Pfeffer says the social space can come as naturally as fielding a grounder. The idea is how do you get access to what's happening on the road, on the plane, in the hotel, before warm-ups. That kind of access is really what drives fan engagement. And the real winning formula is when the access comes directly from players like Detweiler. You know, the fans only really know you through the field and through what writers write about you. And this is, you know, this gives me the ability to actually get on there and, and show people my personality maybe or um, you know, show them kind of what I like to do when I'm away from the field. Extending the conversation away from the field, just one benefit of hurling baseball's traditions into the digital age. We can create a special relationship with our fans beyond just what happens on the field and at the park. We've got a new way to engage fans outside the ballpark 24-7 on any platform that you have. The Texas Rangers are also on Twitter. You can find them at Rangers. The team has more than 260,000 followers. And that's your web exclusive for this Friday. I'm Dana Huey.